Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in the LVN mod for Hearts of Iron 4, and as you can see, well, it's 1951, and I basically took out the entire world at this point. Oh, Alice just up here, but yeah, I just decided, you know what, screw it, I'm just gonna do all this off-screen because it took me a couple, like, three hours to do, and I know some of you guys want to see everything, but, like, I got kind of tired of it. So here are the casualties. We've lost about 8 million in total, for our side. Uh, Portugal is a major power, Romania, French Republic, Greater Hungary, Capitulate, of course, the Union of Britain, no longer the United Kingdom, but the Union of Britain here. A million Belgian casualties, lots of the Dutch, more Dutch, Czechs, Turks. You can see all these casualties here for yourself. And we have, I did invade Australia, which was a god-awful pain in the butt, but we still were able to uh, beat them up. Mostly like everything, even though, like, look at look at where we're at here, on the right side of the screen here. Like, they have most of Australia still, but, like, all we did was take this portion, and they're literally almost gone. Literally 99% of the way there. Canada's gone, Malaya, uh, South America, no one cares about. Mexico's gone, Panama still exists, but no one cares. United States... I killed off the United States. We killed off 7.7 .7 million Americans, which is insane. 3.1 million Indians. And Nicaragua still exists, but just because I was trying to hurry up and get through here. So, yeah, I, I want to show you all the casualties. So, like, to show you, like, how I did it legitly. Oops, I pressed the button here. Uh, there you go. Yeah. So, yeah. That was... It was definitely an experience. We'll put it like that. Definitely an experience that I don't necessarily want to repeat. So... Yeah, we'll see what happens. We're going to do the best we can to invade these guys, even though technically already invaded Mexico. And here is a peace deal, which I'm not going to do off screen. I'm just going to pretty much annex everybody. Sorry, everyone else who, you know, fought in these wars, but... Oh, well, you know, at this point in the campaign. So, basically, as you can tell from this video, it's not that long. I'm going to split this into two. One where we do the Italian Empire, and one where we do the Roman Empire, just because we can. Um, there you go, Honduras. This should actually speed up the game quite a bit, just because... Well, there's not going to be that many nations left once we're done with these guys. So, thank you, Mexico. We love Mexico. We love Canada. We love these guys. Yeah, so basically, I invaded the, like, Labrador to get to Canada. And then they actually pushed me out once. And then I had to re-push them back out and retake that land and went through... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, and the French actually took over Newfoundland. I'm like, oh, wow, good job, French people. And we're like, well, I guess we'll try to invade. And they, our allies tried to invade Boston, and they failed... So then I just started sending my tanks to, the, to uh, all them, and, and they, did, they did okay. They did all right, you know? They did all right. But yeah, it was a pain in the butt. They were, do not satellite them. I want to annex them. Straight up annexation of everything. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> my voice is cracking, apparently, too. Go figure. Uh, why can't we annex these guys? I I was using cons commands. I don't care. Yeah, no. No freedom for you guys. Sorry. We're going to use cons commands at this point. A lot more uh, world tension here, huh? That's alright, though. Peace conference is done. We're just going to straight up annex the Philippines. I don't care. Uh, what is this? Mall? Yeah, no freedom for you. Annex. Pill. TDE bug. Thank you. So, that should be much better. And we're still fighting Nicaragua, but whatever. We'll be fine. These things hopefully will do an okay job ish. Cool. And so, let's go and begin with the Italianization part, and then we'll do the Roman one. I want to do this one first. Italianization program. Well, the programs of Italianization is cool. People must abide by our culture or be suppressed. Italianization is the way forward for a brighter future. Nice. Get more stability, let more political power, lose compliance, and about, oh, 700 states maybe. Roughly 700, 600-ish. Whatever, it is what it is. We still got these people to kill off, but whatever. Guatemala. Here came another port stuff from. Uh... Okay, well, whatever. Marines, yeah, I was sort of like normal at the end of every campaign. You, you run out of stuff to research, so. Not really a big deal. Not really a big deal, my friends. So that should be the world. Continue. So, that is it. Um, I guess I gave Portugal, or they had, Kingdom, they had, I gave them Bolivia. I guess they already had Brazil under them. Uh, I did give Sweden to the French Republic. Finland? Uh, your existence disturbs me. Also, we do have like 268, 40 combat divisions here just because I don't want to do anything else with them. Oh, uh, they were just sitting there. And I was trying to demobilize some more, so at this point we just delete you as well. Thank you. Goodbye. So now we have almost six, roughly 7 million manpower, which is fine. Ah, actually, you know what? Screw it. We're just going to use cons commands for this stuff. Actually, is someone releasing somebody? Spain, Portugal, but yeah, basically the world's all of ours, which is awesome, so we'll see what happens. Italianization will be great, great, great. 
Uh, and then the next episode, we will go ahead and do the Roman version of this. We still remove Benito, so... Very weird. Very weird, but whatever. Special projects. Uh, realize Roman ambitions. That's for the next time. Exclude nuclear strikes on Japanese soil. Well, we also, we took out Japan. That wasn't too bad. Uh, oh, man, Nostrum. Yeah, let's, let's just do FA. Our resources are limited, and we must make some painful choices. But the British Empire has cages in the Mediterranean, bringing our required navy to rival theirs. Well... And the CMRI. Our Roman Marines will be a force to rival the best Marines in the world. The new force shall be called the Corpo de Marine de Roma Impero. Oh, I didn't even know whether we could get that one done. But the trains run on time. An expression preferred by a propaganda office that we shall turn into reality from now on. We'll truly make the trains run on time. Our railroads shall be the pride of the global transportation industry. The Italian Empire. Mussolini proclaimed the Italian Empire in paper after the conquest of Abyssinia. Well, the conquest of Egypt. It's now time to make it a reality. Viva Italia. Italia. Italian Social Republic becomes known as the Italian Empire. We change the flag? Oh, look at that. Oh, hello, Mr. Chin Daddy. Empor Imperator de Italia. He's an Italian lawgiver and duce of fascism, so you get plus 30% political power. That's pretty nice. Um, consolidate our Mediterranean holdings. Our new territories in the Mediterranean Sea must never be lost again, of course. We will ensure that they are adequately defended so that they may supply our empire forever. If full control of the Mediterranean Sea, the islands will gain the maximum amount of naval bases in a province in the state. That made it really lucky. Dominate the northern seas. If we want to be successful in a future world Germany, we will make sure to surround them. We'll have to venture further north and secure the countries there. Okay, naval bases there. <coughs> East African Jewel. The relative desert and mountainous terrain of East Africa will become the jewel of our colonial empire in Africa. We'll invest significant resources into expanding the ports and infrastructure of the colony and begin the important process of Italianizing the region. Nice. Dominate the Indian Ocean. Now that we've secured East Africa, we'll enact our plans to make the Indian Ocean ours and navigate as we see fit. What is ours will be ours. Oh, we're going to kill them off. The sun never sets. El sol non tramonta mai. We'll claim this month for the Italian Empire. Our empire is greater than that which was achieved even by Rome. The Union of Britain or the United Kingdom will tremble the greatness of our naval power. The sun shall never set on the Italian Empire. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, this has been one heck of a path. Obviously, we still have the other side to do for the Roman Empire, which we can do and which we will do in the next episode, which is why this episode is so short. Even though we will have to get Savoy back, but you know what, at this point... Oh, holy crap, look at our color. We changed colors too. It was not like a weird pale color, but now it's a... It's a slight dark green color. Slightly green, which is not bad. Actually, uh, we had... Do we have... The naval bases... Did they say that the, the naval bases would be like... The islands will gain the maximum number of naval bases in the province and the state. Um, not really seeing it. Well, there's that one, but... Three. Maybe I'm looking at it wrong. Eight. There's ten. There's ten. Rhodes is ten, which is nice. Nicosia? No. Okay, so maybe it did work somewhat. Uh, Malta, maybe? Yeah, okay. Well, maybe it did work. Cool. Um, what is this? Cons command. Annex all? Was that it? Annex all? Oh, well... Ah, whatever, just, since we can, Annex, France, oh, DO2 as well, that's fine, just to make it look pretty, I mean, who cares at this point, like, I literally took everyone out legitly, so, at this point, Annex the French, they don't need to be alive, and then we'll Annex the Spanish, Annex SPR, uh, it was a, SPR still even exist, Annex D02, Annex Rome, or Romania, or should it be Annex Hung, and then Annex Poor, that should be, pretty much be it, unless, unless it's like Syria. Yeah, Annex Syria. And then Northern Africa. Annex Morocco. That should be it, shouldn't it? Oh, yeah, we have these guys here too, but whatever. Who is this? Annex Mad. How many nations are left? Lux oh, my goodness. There you go. So, yeah, I guess that's pretty much going to be it for this one. Like... I just wanted to go through this stuff. I mean, there's no point for us to, like, do anything else. Eh, yeah, first strike, though. Yeah, that's to be... An... Oh, that's completed the focus. Pact of Steel. Ah, oh, the German Reich of the world ending menace. We will have to strike now before they come after us. Because you have to be a faction leader requires Italian Empire. Eh, we want to do this one, too. Uh, focus dot no checks. I spelled that wrong. Uh. Hello. Cool. My apologies for this. Ooh, boy. Secure the North. Our ancestors lived through the multiple barbarian invasions from the north. We don't, if we don't want another sack of Rome, our northern border will have to be expanded and secured. Final mobilization. 
in this war of annihilation between our great people and the Nazis in Berlin. We will mobilize all available resources towards their destruction. Benito Mussolini proclaimed that every man, woman, and child will do their duty for the state. Nice. And the war to end all wars. It's time to strike. The German Empire seems to have ignored our mobilization and the obvious signs of attack. We will strike first and destroy the barbarian Huns. The future lies in our hands. Avanti! Cool. And that now, that should... Wait, be it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We've got... Oh, of course, we can do it by the capitalists, but that's only because we did the uh, no check, so... But so now that should be it. So uh, I guess that's going to be the end of this episode, in which the next episode we're going to go basically go back to an earlier point and basically go right before we did the Italianization program and go with Romanetus. But hey, if you enjoyed this the very short video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this part of the focus tree, especially for the Italianization program. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.